What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Don't forget as well to hit those notifications as we have a ton of videos coming out. So you guys are definitely going to want to be alerted as soon as we have one that we're putting up. And as, all, as well, we love hearing comments from you guys. So don't forget to hit me in that comment box because we love anything that you guys have to say creates a great community for the Shea TV channel. So we do appreciate each and every one of your comments that you do leave us. So today is the day that I know a lot of you have been waiting for. What is up my Supreme community? We are back. We are today going to be discussing all of the different previews that we're seeing for all the upcoming weeks of the Supreme launches. So if you're new to my channel, I do not only just do shoe unboxings, I also talk every week about what is gonna be coming out for Supreme. I also talk about all the products that I'm able to cop each week, and I also do live videos. So stay tuned for what is up and coming because we have a lot of great videos that we're gonna be pumping out week to week for you guys to watch. So today I'm extremely excited. It's like so much to talk about. I just actually put a video up last night and it's crazy because I was like going for this Mortal Kombat kind of feel. Get over here! Your might. And oh my God, all of a sudden, I see the Supreme is launching a Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh my God, game. It's like, what? I'm gonna have, I wanna have that game in my apartment. I have no room. I don't even care. I will buy five of those machines. I need to have it. I am so obsessed with Mortal Kombat. I swear to God. I remember when I was a little girl, the movie was literally sold out. Me and my cousin went front and center on the ground. We sat in the very front looking straight up the entire movie. And I still to this day am just like, that was one of my greatest childhood movies. Not to mention playing that on Sega Genesis for all you Sega users out there. That was me as a kid. What up? Love my Sony character, obsessed with her. But anyways, let's talk about some other things that we've been teased with. We got the Smurfs, we got Chucky, Futura is coming out. And of course, we're gonna see some more North Face with Stone Island. I mean, there is just so much. I just can't even wait to get to the accessory part of this. So stay tuned till the end of this video because that's when we're gonna hit those accessories, which is what I'm most stoked about. But until then, we're gonna hop into the lookbook. I'm gonna go through some of my favorite items, some items I'm just not happy about, but I'm probably for sure not gonna go through the entire drops because this there's so, there's so much. You guys would be here for hours. So let's hop into this right now. Let's get into the jacket portion, which we're gonna start with. All right, so I'm looking at, looking at the uh, lookbook here, starting off with that Gore-Tex, uh, coat. I have a Gore-Tex coat, but man, that is, that is some heavy duty material. So I guess if you're like going out there in a snowstorm, that is going to be great for you. But I don't know that I need a specific Gore-Tex down parka. It looks pretty dope how they paired it in the lookbook. I do like how they put that kind of cross box Supreme logo hoodie underneath it. I do like gray with a little leopard print. And as you guys know, I did get that leopard print hat. So I am pretty obsessed with leopard, but I don't know, like on a trend scale, how much longer animal print is gonna be continuing on. I feel like it's kind of on the out. You may have like one or two years left with that crazy print. Of course, we've got that uh, king hooded varsity jacket. We've seen varsity jackets with Supreme before. Uh, you know, not such a huge crazy fan about that. Let's like scroll down here. Wow, we've got some crazy Smurf action Gore-Tex shell jackets. I do have a shell jacket. It's great, it's lightweight, but my God, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to rock like 12, 13. I can't even count. There's so many Smurfs on this coat right now. It's crazy, crazy talk. We do have this reversible color blocked fleece, which 
I don't know. There's something just about color blocking that I think is just doing extremely well. I am so excited. I have these ASIC Sean Witherspoon shoes. Don't know if you guys heard about those. Yeah, stay tuned for that unboxing. But I'm really into like just bright, colorful types of color blocking items right now. And I do think that that's not going to do so bad. Uh, let's just keep scrolling here. This Ariel Tapestry Harrington jacket. I mean, I live in New York, so obviously I'm a fan of that. Definitely love how it's got like that box logo on there. Let's just keep scrolling. A lot of these are just kind of basic penguins. Oh man. What was that movie? That penguin movie? It's like life about a penguin. I feel like if that movie had just came out and it was trending, that that jacket would be like dope, but uh, not into that so much. I don't mind the sidetrack jacket because it's in tie dye and I'm really feeling tie dye right now. I think one of the top hottest items though in the jacket is for sure going to be that Smurfs denim trucker jacket. I love that it's extremely subtle on the back. So you're definitely going to be able to pair that jacket with lots of different items. Uh, it comes, it looks like in just a denim color, regular denim, darker denim, and like a black denim. I would probably go for either, but I definitely love the feel of that coat and just how I'm going to be able to pair that with a lot of things. And I think a lot of people will be able to pair it with a lot of things as well keep going uh what is a script i don't know what this wool overcoat is like i can see it in let's check it out in this lookbook i mean it looks okay but i i just feel like it's like too much print going on for me so not so much a fan of that let's keep going here not much of a vast person so i'm not even going that we've got this contrast script farsi jacket uh, not really a fan of the color scheme, but I not, I'm feeling the black, it's simple, you know, it's subtle, not so bad there. Uh, we've got some interesting New Mexico theme looking jackets. You guys know, I was actually born in Albuquerque. You're gonna laugh, but I have to ask you about this. It's, uh, it's got like a feel of what I remember my grandpa wearing when I was growing up. That Tlaxacala blanket jacket. So I guess it's supposed to definitely replicate a blanket of some kind. All right, so jackets, you know, so, so they're gonna do pretty well. Obviously this is the fall and winter time coming up. So people are definitely going to be in tune to looking for, you know, some nice warmer clothing. Uh, let's see here. We've got this Globe MA1 jacket. I actually kind of like this. It's got a globe on the back, some fire, different. I don't, I really kind of like this actually, this flight satin twill. And it looks like it's got some nice warmth to it, but I definitely like that it comes in this olive tone. Also, it looks like it comes in a black color as well. Uh, definitely kind of a fan of that. And let's just keep going back. All right, so now let's move on. Let's get into the shirts here. All right. So I'm gonna skip through some of these. Patrick Oxford shirts. I mean, you can't go wrong with some plaid. I definitely don't mind the color that that shirt comes in. It's just like a light baby blue, gray, and white. Then we got this quilted flannel shirt, which is not so bad either, and that black and yellow. Pull that up. Oh yeah, it looks like it's got a little like reddish pink in there as well. And then let's see here. Ooh, look at this receipt rayon shirt. So funny side story. One of my friends actually, like, it's hilarious. He basically mocks how long uh, CVS Dwayne Reed receipts are because they have like 25 million coupons at the end of them. So he actually does these funny skits in the bathroom where he uses it as toilet paper. So I don't know, it's like making this whole like t-shirt reminiscent of that. But I actually think this is different. Like I like it. I feel like this is definitely something I could maybe hopefully partner with him on a skit on. But uh, yeah, I like, I like the, the receipt look on this one. All right, let's go 
back here. Oh, come on. All right, so let's move on. I'm gonna hit up the sweaters here. Whoa, the Supreme Smurf sweater. That's a lot of color. We have a lot of color going on there. It looks like they've got like different happy and like mad faces going on. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. I I feel like I could make it work. Um, probably would more like go towards the black option. It's like a black and a white option sweater. Uh, crochet hooded zip up. I don't know, man. Crochet is like big for females. I don't know if you men, men out there have seen like us ladies rocking a crochet bikini, but I kind of am feeling that crochet hoodie somewhat. I don't know. I could maybe pair that with a nice crochet bikini. Uh, it's different. Definitely got to be careful with crochet, man. If you snag that, it's ruined. Better. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Probably will do both decently well but not too crazy about that one. Ooh, we got the textured small box sweater i love a nice crew neck definitely like the color options in this we've got a white a green a navy and a pink probably looking at going for that just simplistic white and red i've been really wanting just a small logo t-shirt or sweatshirt of some kind so that may be an option of what i want it also comes in a black go for that as well. Pretty simple with the white text on there. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Ooh dragon hockey jersey. Who I not know about that one, guys. Definitely gamer fantasy like games. Reminds me of like some of uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I guess. I don't know. Definitely not something for me here. Another collar blocked soccer polo kind of reminds me of what we were talking about earlier with that color blocking, but not so much of a fan of the polo shirts per se, but hey, I like the color blocking look. Then we got the scatter logo top, which I actually think is dope. And it comes in like red, gray, and black coloring scheme as like the Supreme leathers are just scattering and falling down the shirt. I really love that look. Then let's see here trying to keep this short bleed logo definitely not something i'm into but this plaid oblique is pretty sick i don't know like i'm liking it i like it in this gray Ooh, it's kind of got like this green plaid look to the texture of the letters which is nice it looks like it comes in some other options which i don't know i'm not so crazy about i don't mind that uh purple actually purple color t-shirts i've realized just do really well on supreme on resell let's move on to the sweatshirts here Ooh, so i don't know how you guys are feeling about the crossbox logo hoodie hooded sweatshirt but i'm actually a fan of it i think it's different i love that you're getting more for your money i guess instead of one box logo you're getting two but the thing I love so much about it is the color options that this is coming in. So I am all for this nude color. I just, it's different. I haven't seen that in a hoodie by Supreme. It's probably gonna be extremely limited. And my second favorite color option is that olive green. And as you guys know, I've been trying to play for just like a nice court purple colorway. So that would probably be third on my list, but definitely right now, like one of my top sweatshirts for sure. And then let's see, ooh, aerial crew neck. I don't know, I'm like kind of a sucker for crew necks. So I definitely like that, obviously again, New York City, uh, it's just a different perspective on what the city looks like on this shirt. And I do like that it has that Supreme Box logo there, really, really pops. Actually really like it in the yellow color that they have popping up here, but it comes in some other options. Ooh, comes in that peachy kind of tan color again and a maroon. Haven't seen that in a while, but uh, I do like the color options that they've got going on there. A lot of different variations than what we've seen. All right, then let's keep Rolling through blocks of sweatshirt. Looks like a kitty toy, baby toy of some kind. Ooh, Polar Text half zip pullover. I love that. It's so simplistic. That's definitely something that I'm going to be able to wear 
with so many different things. I'm loving this cream color. Oh, whoa, what are these other options? These are different. Not so crazy about these like grainy textured multi-block colors. Uh, just not a fan of that print, but um, I definitely like just the simple black or the cream or red color way. Probably go for those colors first when those come out. All right, oh, and then we got the small box crew neck. So if I don't get the sweater, definitely wanna try and cop that crew neck. Loving that lavender color. Love me some lavender, pops with my skin tone. I'm trying to cop some more just basic kind of like tan, light peachy cream colorways. So definitely gonna go for that. Loving that. All right. So that is for the hoodies. Let's get into the pants real quick. Ooh, we've got the Smurf pants to match that uh, coat. Definitely not a fan of that. I think it's like to look at me, but I do think that, uh, ooh, the Smurf jeans will do well. It's just subtle, got a little Smurf on the back pocket and some simple denim, but I do think that Ariel Tapestry regular denim jean is gonna do great. Just, I feel like in the past, any type of full fits typically do well, and I think that's gonna kill it on the resale value there. Uh, other than that, like I'm not too crazy. I mean, we've got some simple like logo sweatpants. It is what it is, simple, simple. Let's get into the t-shirts. Okay. Oh man, so I, I literally saw this picture on uh, Instagram and I'm absolutely obsessed with it and it's the capture t-shirt my god trolling everyone out there i'm sorry but the captures can be the death of me sometimes and i love that supreme is just putting a little bit of humor into a shirt that is by far going to be like my go-to shirt that i'm going for it is hilarious and uh definitely it's going to remind me of all the hard times i've had with captures even though they can be so simple sometimes it's like nope incorrect i'm like i picked every crosswalk i legit hit every crosswalk, I hit every bus, hit every bridge. Captions drive me crazy. And then let's see here, the Pharaoh Sanders T. I really am digging that. I used to play the saxophone when I was in fifth grade. My band teacher told me to stick to singing. So that lets you know how good I was at that instrument. <laughs> but I do like that look. Definitely would get that in a solid black color. And then let's see, ooh, we got the Futura logo classic logo i'm in love with that let's check out some of the color options that they have in that t-shirt oh wait justice for all in the back all right definitely a win for me definitely definitely a win for me i like definitely like what that t-shirt is all about but of course that caption is just it's got me it's got me it's got me i don't mind the balloons t print either that's something different i love the different color variations in it those are going to pop I am kind of feeling wearing a little bit more bright colors, just kind of something that I'm trying to add to my, you know, collection of clothes. Since you guys know, I love my black and all black. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. But hey, trying to step out of my comfort zone and get some more colors in my wardrobe. All right, so let's get into hats. I was able to grab a lot of hats actually uh, these past few months but uh, I kind of want to be more selective, I think, on it because I really don't need any more hats in my collection. But uh, let's see here. Ooh, crochet crusher hat, hmm. Where's the Supreme logo on that? That's interesting. Been looking for a good crusher hat and I'm not in love with any of the ones I'm seeing here, but since it's winter time, ooh, they got cute Smurf ones. Let's see, what else do we have? You know, I wouldn't be opposed to the simple paneled seam beanie with the box logo on it. Like just something crisp, simple for the winter time. It comes in a heather gray, pink, green, red, black, teal color. It's not so bad. Um, what else do we see here? Uh, the Supreme and the Everlast logo. Ooh, but I love this big logo beanie with the plaid. That's so sick. Uh, I love the red and the blue and the green. I would definitely go for that one, but like in the plaid 
print versus just the the simple print but hey i would be happy with just copying i think any of those those are sick uh oh the balaclava as you guys know i copped the north face balaclava this is a sick balaclava oh man i definitely am gonna need one of those i feel like with like covid and everything like we just need things to cover our face and like i hope actually that supreme maybe drops the face mask because that would like kill it for sure kill it Okay, that's what I'm seeing so far in the hats. Let's move on and hop into the bag section. I was able to cop a fanny pack, um, but let's see what we have here. Looks like a bunch of waterproof uh, bags that we have going on. Looks like they've definitely got a trend going here. Ooh, we got some more leopard print. I was able to cop that leopard print ball cap, but I don't know if I'm feeling that backpack. Again, I just don't know how much more animal print I want to add to my collection because I don't know like how long that style is going to last. So I don't want to like drown my wardrobe in too much animal print. Uh, but I don't mind this waist bag one. It's got some like interesting, it's like an oval shape. It's a different shape than what I have in my fanny pack collection. Uh, let's see what colors we have. This one's just showing red. Oh, of course. Ooh, olive. I love me some olive. Let me tell you, I would definitely go for that fanny and the olive. I don't know about the, looks like they've got another neck pouch. Probably not so much of a fan. They've got a canvas backpack. I can see that doing pretty well. It's just simple, plain, got the box logo. It's in black and white. Uh, other than that, I'm not like, oh my God, I need to have this in the bag section. Okay. So let's talk about shoes. Uh, Air Force Ones, man, those just fly off the shelves. I haven't been able to cop one of those, but uh, there was rumor that they're gonna be doing another collab with Nike, but it's gonna be for the Air Jordan 1. Oh my God, uh, I need that in my life. I'm okay with winning Supreme Air Force One, but if I could cop an Air Jordan 1, oh man, uh, things would be great. Season Supreme season would be great. So hoping that they do launch that collab as well as the Air Force One. We shall see. Uh, okay. And now the moment we've been waiting for the accessories. All right. So it looks like they're launching this watch actually with Jacob and Co. Who is your Jacob? Like pretty sure he is like an $18 million watch on the market. So this watch is obviously not gonna be that price point, but it does look pretty dope. I don't know, it's got some nice color blocking in there. It would definitely go well with any color blocking items on that Supreme list. Ooh, Supreme Jacob & Co. lock pendant. Ah, oh, that's so sick. Ah, oh, it's like I'm not, it's gonna take me forever to get through this accessories. There's so much fire. And that Pat McGrath, so I do model actually. I've modeled for Pat McGrath before for lip products which is hilarious so i feel like i should get this lipstick for free but man the packaging of that oh women are gonna go crazy over that it's so different it's so unique then we've got that mortal kombat arcade game which i told you guys about in the start of this video i need to have this in my apartment i don't even care if i have to put it in the middle of my living room like i need to have that game it is essential Oh man, I just, I, even if I want two, I'd probably keep both of them. I don't even care. Uh, let's, what is this cartel tricks bed? Oh my, I'm not going to lie. I've been in need of like a guest bed for the studio. So I'm like, that might work. It looks like it folds up and it's really compact. It's a bunch of pills. I kind of like, I kind of like it. It looks kind of comfy as well. And a fishbowl. Whew. How am I gonna make it through this list? I feel like I, I'm about to get a fish. I don't think I was able to keep my goldfish alive when I was a little girl for more than like a few weeks because I decided to get a beta fish, not realizing that beta fish kill other fish. So uh, that poor Goldie, Goldilocks was her name. She didn't live very long. Chucky doll, all right, I'm scared of Chucky, so I'm gonna pass on that, but that's Supreme Toothpaste. so great oh man i mean we all need toothpaste so why not get a tube of uh some supreme toothpaste that's that's great oh oh man 
Oh, this bellhop lamp too. That would be perfect, actually. Can you guys imagine that lamp on this desk? This desk is pretty bare right now, so I'm looking at things to like fill it up with. I would do the fish bowl, but I don't wanna like be responsible for a fish life. Not right now, I'm too busy. Uh, study color base, pass on that. Oh my God, a vocal supreme microphone, guys. I am Pinoy and we literally grew up with this thing. We called it the magic stick. I know what you're thinking, not sexual term, but it's literally this portable microphone that you could actually take wherever you wanted with wherever you wanted to go karaoke. You just plug it into the TV and you could sing with a microphone and all the songs are uploaded. So this vocal microphone is essential because me and my family, we are hardcore karaokers, karaokeers. Did I say that right? I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, like hardcore into karaoke and I just, I need that microphone. That's so cool. Metal folding chair, can't go wrong with that. Not gonna take up too much space. Whew, man, binoculars, those are dope. Ah, guys, the Zippo, they've got a Swarovski one. My Zippo, I love my Zippo. My Zippo doesn't work. I got like a really crappy one, I guess, because it has not lit. I've tried it a thousand times. Send help. I need some help with my Zippo to get it going. It's broken. I'm so bummed about that because I love that lighter. Oh, whoa, mini flask. What? Ah, that is sick. Then we've got like this. Oh, wow. Are those like power station charging ca charger cables? All right. Well, that's pretty dope too. I don't know that I need that for anything necessarily, but it's pretty cool. Whew. Phone case I think is dope, but I'm always changing phones. So I just don't want to invest in a phone case. I really like these thermal pants actually. Definitely think I'm going to try and cop those. Just hope that they fit me and it doesn't look weird in the crotch, but I definitely am all about that print. Oh, those are, those are nice. All right. Well, that is pretty much it, everyone. That was all of my favorite items. I'm not even going to go back and tell you like my top 10 faves because that was a ton of stuff to go through. So I'm just super excited for this week. I will let you guys know as soon as we know those items that are dropping and which ones you should be going for, which ones are my top faves. So anyways, sorry that it's been such a long time, you guys out there that are my Supreme Community fans. But again, we are gonna be doing weekly videos, so do not forget to hit that subscribe button, give this Supreme video a like at the end, as these likes do go a long ways. And don't forget to hit us in the comment box. If you have any questions, let me know what are your favorite items that you think you're gonna be wanting to cop this season as well as hit that notification because I want to alert you as soon as we have a new and upcoming video. All right, everyone, this is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill and we will catch you next time. Bye.